Hello everyone! Today I'll show you how to create a video background for your Cargo 3 website and keep it fixed, whereas the rest of the content uh, will be scrollable and um, yeah, will be going above this video. So this is the website I built just recently. You can see that it's full of cool animation. Mm, but yeah, in this video I'll show you how to make this video background trick. And uh, let's move to Cargo. So this is my website and I have two pages. First page is just a video background and the second page is yeah just a content. Note that both pages has 100% height property. And uh, well, that's important because if this part is gonna be smaller than this part, you probably need to uh, set some adjustments uh, to the code. But I'll tell you about it uh, at the end of the video. Uh, now let's consider that the part with the content is larger than the video. And I also can create as many pages beneath the video as you want. And all of them should be organized into a stack. So this is how it should work. And the first step to do is to pin your video page. So now let's click pin settings. And this is uh, what you should see. So uh, you should not click uh, this adjust other content thing, but the rest should be enabled. All right, so the video is pinned and now go to the first page of your stack, uh, the first page after the video and open the CSS. And uh, here we need to add some margin. So we need to type margin top. All right, and the value should be 100% uh, height, but you can copy this variable because it's going to be um, doing the same thing and save it. Uh, next step, you need to add that index and the value is going to be uh, 499. And uh, yeah, let's save it. And now you immediately see that it works. Uh, for the rest of pages that you, um, you have beneath this one. Uh, you don't need to specify this margin top because this is just making this gap between um, the top of the screen and the first page. Uh, but you also need to set that index uh, to the same value. And if for some reason it's not working, try to set important like that. Okay, so, um, okay, uh, multiply this uh, property for all pages you have. And uh, this is the first step. The second step is going to be um, fixing just one small bag. Let me demonstrate how it works. First, let me publish the page and then open the website and show you one little thing. So when I scroll down, now you see that it works. But when I uh, scroll at the very bottom of the website, I can see that I still see the video beneath. So uh, to fix that, you need sort of an underlay. And let me show you how to create this underlay uh, on the next part. Here is the code pen I've created and uh, it contains uh, two parts. First part is HTML and the CSS part. So let's start with HTML. Great things are just comments, so please don't copy them. Uh, copy the line number four. And then let's move back to Cargo, click Site Settings, and then go to Global HTML. So uh, here's uh, where you need to paste it. Uh, then go back to CodePen and copy CSS part. All right, and uh, CSS part, it goes here. Okay, so this part is ready. You can close um, your like settings. Then uh, move back to uh, CodePen and uh, copy the rest of code, starting from script until the very end. And this part you need to paste uh, not to the global HTML, but um, to this page. So no matter how many pages you have, uh, you need to go to the first page after beneath the video and then just place it here. So uh, also you need to change two things. So this is gonna be your page ID. You can find it easily. Uh, just switching to CSS and copying uh, the ID from here. So this ID should be exactly the ID of the first page which goes after the video page. All right, no matter how many pages you have after this page. And the color is gonna be our underlay color. Uh, now it's set to white, but let me show you, let me change it to black uh, just to show you what it does. And after everything is ready, probably just one small thing I forgot to mention is um, you need to go to video page and uh, go to its CSS and also set that index to zero. Let's specify important. 
This is what we need to uh, make the video appear beneath. Okay, so now let me publish the page and um, refresh it here. So now when I scroll down, uh, you can see that I uh, have like a black underlay beneath this page. So if you change the color to uh, the color of this part, let me demonstrate. Let's go back to page, open HTML and change it to white. All right, so let's publish again. Uh, if I'm gonna change the color to the very last color, like the very uh, last page color, uh, you won't see any underlay. This is how it works. And probably one important thing to mention, if you want to make your overlapping page to be smaller than uh, the video page, then you need to set some adjustments. So first of all, you cannot make this page uh, fit the content. Uh, you need to specify the precise amount of pixels, um, like the height of this page. Uh, to do that, let's open CSS panel and first let's remove minimum height. It's going to be uh, affecting the page size. And uh, instead, let's type height like 300 pixels, right? So this is now the size of my page. Also, you need to copy the thing and go to HTML and change it here. So instead of, uh, instead of minus 18%, um, you need to say uh, minus 300 pixels, all right? And the last part, uh, you need to open your global settings and uh, change the value here as well, 300 pixels, okay. So that's it. And now you can publish your page and see that your page is like smaller. Uh, yeah. And when I scroll up, also we can see our underlay, uh, because if we don't change these values, we're going to see under underlay somewhere here in the middle. And this is not what we want. And that's it. Uh, follow my channel to get more tutorials about Cargo Collective and goodbye.